I'm David Alkins. I'm back in my hometown of Newquay, a key marginal constituency where every vote really does count. I'm talking to the local candidates to find out if they are engaging with voters with learning disabilities. But before I did that, I spoke to Cornwall's Chief Returning Officer, Andrew Kerr. I asked him what he's doing to encourage disabled people to vote. We're trying to do a number of things right the way through the process. So first of all, the postal ballot papers are in a variety of forms so that everyone has a choice about how they're able to read them. And that's everything from Braille to um, Easy Read um, in the application forms. And then when uh, we get to the voting booth themselves, we have staff who know that they may have people with disabilities coming to um, those uh, booths and they're ready and able to help them. At home, I have been able to follow the campaign in the local press. And of course, there have also been plenty of leaflets coming through the letterbox as the election approaches. It's a good way, at least for those people who can, to access information about their local candidates. But none of these leaflets are accessible to everybody. This is a key marginal seat, and I want candidates to know how successful they could be if they can engage with voters with learning difficulties. Out and about in the constituency, there are election posters dotted about everywhere. Stephen Gilbert was the local Liberal Democrat MP. He's now in a political dogfight with the Conservatives to save his seat. So, let's do it. I asked him if he realised that by engaging with the LD vote, he might just hold on to his seat in Parliament. You're right that this is an election where every vote will count, but I've always believed that every person counts too, and that's why it's hugely important for me uh, that we are able as a party to reach out to every corner of our community to make sure people are engaged in this election. It's about their future, it's about all of our futures. I put the same question to his rival Steve Double, who's keen to take the seat for the Conservatives. Every vote counts equally and therefore every vote is equally important and uh, you make a very very good point that if we can connect with you know, every member of this constituency including those with special needs and learning difficulties um, then you know that's a really important thing to do to make sure that my message and our message as a party is connecting with those people. At the other end of the constituency, Labour's Deborah Hopkins is worried that disabled people do not have a voice that can be heard by politicians who are supposed to represent them. So I've had a lot of contact from people with learning disabilities and disabilities um, because they're very worried that they're being pushed out of society and they don't have access to the help that they need and they don't feel that they've got the voice that they're entitled to. They aren't allowed to live life the way the rest of us are allowed to live because of the cuts. UKIP's David Matthews thought that our Easy News Manifesto Roundup was just common sense. Being able to communicate with all sectors of you know, society, all sections, all types of people is not easy and that's really important even with this election that we are able to communicate clearly our message and I particularly like the way this format has been done with this literature because it is easy reading without a doubt. While Steve Slade from the Green Party told me our Every Vote Counts campaign is crucial. Yes, um, it's, it's interesting your campaign is, uh, is crucial in getting people out, everybody out to vote. And I think uh, in a fully inclusive society, that's what we want. We want everyone to take their opportunity to vote and have a say in their future. I think it's really important. In, uh, in Newquay, where I live, there's a few um, care homes around. And I know the main thing that they're quite excited about, the idea of making sure that they can vote 
and get out and vote. So it's important that they get the leaflets through and we try and pass on the information. I think the way you're expressing the information is particularly uh, effective. So that's simple then. Problem solved. All the major parties say they want to engage with LD voters and want their support. Or is it? Laura Turner works with young people who have learning disabilities. She thinks politicians need to take a fresh approach to engage the next generation. I think the more we take the social media and the more we put it out there on places like Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, you know, Tumblr, like you just said, um, and all of those areas where young people mix and they go to kind of get involved with things like community groups, youth groups, you know, they're, they're multi-use games areas, they're, you know, they're sports groups. If we get those out to all of those people, if I saw something like that on social media, I would be like, ping, and then for me it would think, oh, you know, I want to look into that, I want to source out some more information on that. We won't know how successful our campaign has been until we get the results of a survey of people we support to see how many voted. But one thing is clear, if they are engaged, then... Voters with learning difficulties could tip the balance of power in key marginal seats. Until then, watch this space for my next report.